Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the new video series. Uh, this time around, I'll be talking about R programming language. So it will be a first of many videos uh, under this playlist. Let's get started. So why use R? R is a programming language we all are aware of, right? Uh, so why we use R, right? So it's a great resource for data analysis, data visualization, data science and machine learning. And it provides many statistical techniques such as statistical tests with the likes of ANOVA, chi-square test and many more classification, clustering, etc. So it is a, uh, one of the uh, great uh, platform which provide us a lot of benefits. It is easy to draw graphs in R like pie charts, histogram, box plot and many more as well. And another important point about R is it works on multiple platforms with the likes of Windows, Mac, Linux. Next is who has invented R or who is the originator of R? These two gentlemen are the originators of R, Ross and Robert Gentleman, right? So how to install R? To install R, go to this website, right? This link I'll be putting up in the description box as well and download the latest version of R for your Windows, Mac or Linux machine. This is the R homepage. When you uh, go to this uh, link, cloudrproject.org, this is how it look like. And if you just click on the particular link based upon your machine, right? And this is a, how it, the command line look like because I'm a user of Linux. This is how it look like on my machine. So in the same way, you, you must be having similar kind of interface for your Windows machine as well. How to install R Studio? R Studio is an integrated development environment, right? It's a graphical interface, we can say, in which you can run all your R queries. It is easy to use, user-friendly graphical interface. So to install R Studio, go to this link and download the latest version of R Studio for the Windows, Mac or Linux. Again, I'll be putting up this link as well. This is a, a how the R Studio homepage look like. You can download the R Studio IDE by selecting your particular uh, version and particular uh, platform. This is the R Studio. Uh, actually, this is another thing. This is actually R Studio server because R Studio comes with the two flavors. One is R Studio Desktop, which is the standalone application, and one is R Studio Server, which you, which you can use it anywhere because you can see like it has opened up on a browser, right? This is a, how R Studio look like. And what's the difference between R and R Studio? This can be asked as a simple question. So R is an application which is installed on your computer and uses your personal computer resources to process R language. Uh, whereas R Studio integrates with R as an IDE integrated development environment to provide fu further functionality. Right? This is a simple short intro about R. Let me now show you that how R Studio and R look like in my machine. This is the R Studio server in my uh, laptop. You can see I've opened up on localhost colon 8787, right? This is the links like from where you can download for Windows, right? This is a link available where you can download the R Studio IDE. You can see like we have R Studio desktop available as well as R Studio server available. Both are open source license, both are free. If you want to use the R in your uh, in your uh, like as a command line interface, simply type capital R and it will be opening up, right? So this marks the end of our first video. Uh, for our remaining content, I'll be uh, coming up with a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.